Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book haul. Uh, this book haul is the third of three bookstores that I visited during my comeback tour. And this bookstore is called Return the Page, uh, which is part of Williamstown Farmer's Market in Williamstown, New Jersey. Uh, I really had a good time visiting, and I could only imagine the taste of the soft pretzel with the orange creamsicle. Uh, the pretzel from the pretzel stand and the orange creamsicle from the smoothie stand. Uh, how savory and refreshing it feels. Uh, but there are also some shops and one of which is a bookstore. Uh, it's a pretty small bookstore that you could just walk through. Uh, but it does have a pretty nice selection, uh, especially when it comes to particular genres in a mass market paperback. Uh, I did not get any of them, uh, but I did acquire quite a nice selection. Uh, the first book that I got is Hunting Eichmann by Neil Bascom, which pertains to the uh, uh, following the Second World War, uh, Eichmann escaped and went into the uh, and went into uh, South Africa to uh, live an anonymous life. I would like to learn more about uh, people like him and uh, Dr. Mangala that following the war. Uh, made an escape, but uh, the uh, were uh, tracked down and brought back to justice, which they, they absolutely deserve to be brought to justice because of all of the heinous things that they did and followed along with uh, the brutality of Nazism. Next, I got Osama, The Making of a Terrorist by Jonathan Randall. Uh, I don't know, I only know so much about Osama bin Laden. Uh, this here was written in 2005, so this was written while Osama bin Laden remained in hiding. Uh, so it's only going to garner so much, but it will give me an idea as to why uh, he took the path that he did, and uh, orchestrated the terrorist attack on uh, the United States of America. Uh, I would like to read something eventually that has a general overview of uh, Osama bin Laden and what led to the uh, capture in 2011. Something that was quite a grab that I uh, picked up at uh, Return the Page is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I read The Martian and really enjoyed it. And this is a book that's uh, uh, being long-listed for the Booktube Prize. So there might come a time where I'm tapped to read this. But... I like the fact that Andy Weir is uh, honest, straightforward, and yet he's able to tell a very meaningful story. I saw the Taz Chen uh, collection about artists and their work, and I had to get all of them. I was drawn in, and so I decided to acquire everything that they had there. Uh, this is not the entirety of the, Ch the Taz Chen collection of artists, but uh, this is everything that they had. Uh, you've got, uh, this is Peter Brugel, uh, put together by Rosemary and Rainer Hagen, and uh, these are uh, biographies and a collection of their artwork. 
in these books. This is Gustav Courbet by Fabrice Monsan. Here's Francisco Goya, put together by Rosemary and Rainer Hagen. El Greco by Michael Schlotz Hansel. Here's CJ by Adele Schlums. Gustav Klimt uh, by Gilles Nere. Edward Manet uh, by Gilles Nere. Uh, Amadio Matagnani, uh, which was put to this is uh, put together by Doris Christoph. There's Raphael by Christoph Fiennes. Pierre Gusti Renoir by Peter H. Feist. There's Diego Rivera by Andrea Kenneman. And Vincent Van Gogh by Ingo F. Walther. And then finally, I have Van Gogh in Auvers, uh, His Last Days by Wouter Van Vanderven and Peter Knapp. And this is a collection of uh, the last of Van Gogh's artwork, for how productive he was within those days, and it shows his various paintings during that stretch of time. There's also a uh, there's also uh, diary entries uh, where he wrote to his brother Theo. This covers the last seventy days of his life, not, but he was really prevalent with his uh, creativity and uh, got a lot done. Those are the books that I acquired while I was at Return the Page. And I would like to pay a visit back, and I would like to keep visiting any time I pay a visit to Williamstown Farmer's Market. Uh, I'm, I think they have a great selection as far as uh, their food is concerned. Uh, I didn't really get a lot of their... Uh, a lot of their grocery and uh, prepared food, uh, but I might want to get into that at some point in time. Uh, but I definitely will have myself some soft pretzels and one or more orange creamsicles when I go there. Uh, but uh, Return the Page is definitely worth paying a visit to while you are there, and you might find something that you would like. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this video. I hope you check out some more videos from our channel. And for now, keep reading.